Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys so much for um, waiting. This has been a long time in the making. I haven't posted in quite a while. Um, it's been over a year and even <laughs> before that, my posting schedule was so sporadic that I feel like it didn't even count. Like it's been quite a bit of time since I've created content, sat in front of a camera, and alhamdulillah, we're here. I'm so happy, I'm so excited. Like I have my own room to film in and you know what? I'm just so excited about this new beginning. The title of this video is gonna be called um, I Quit YouTube for a Year. I guess I'm just gonna catch you guys up on like life. And first of all, um, I just wanna thank you guys so much for like subscribing, even though you saw that I hadn't posted in such a long time. I really appreciate that. It feels so nice to know that like the videos that I've posted that like my intentions when I was creating those videos was to help people and I'm still seeing people you know leaving comments saying thank you I really needed this those type of comments really really like you know warm my soul I felt like those type of comments are what really keep me going is when I know that I'm producing something that is helpful to other people so thank you guys so much like I think at this moment we are almost at 35k subscribers and wow I, I just started posting in 2015 that journey like I it was shortly after I started wearing the hijab and I started producing a lot more like a lot of uh, hijabi like modest fashion related content I've kind of like experimented through the years I felt like I was kind of doing whatever I could to find my niche yeah, like one of the reasons why like I took a break from YouTube is because I was like really confused about what my niche was. If you look at my content over the past few years, it's kind of like all over the place. So uh, I felt that during this year, one year plus long break, I had a lot of time to kind of you know, reflect, just like have some time to myself. YouTube is, it can be tolling sometimes because there are so many aspects that you have to deal with. You have to come up with the content, you gotta shoot it, you have to have some sort of a strategy, like SEO strategy, marketing strategy. Sometimes brands want to work with you and you know, that can either be a really good experience or a really bad one. Growing, it's kind of difficult. I don't know, there's just like so much that goes into it and at that you know several years ago I was still working full-time and doing my best to produce content and now that I'm a stay-at-home mom wife even though I technically do have time to produce content I've we just moved to this house and this is like the first time ever that I've just had a room to just dedicate to doing what I want to do if that makes sense like we were living in a one-bedroom apartment and yeah, that was really tough. Our bedroom was like also an office and the living room was also like a playroom for my son. It was hard, but Alhamdulillah, like we live within our means and we saved up enough money to put together a down payment and now we're here. Like I have my own office. It's gonna be really exciting. But during my break, I felt like I needed to address so many things. Like I needed to address like my emotional stuff. I felt like you know, YouTube, you're always thinking about it. You're always like, okay, what else can I produce? You're, you know, answering comments. You're trying to like not stress out about things, if that makes sense. When I was doing that with a full-time job, it was really hard because, you know, at your work, sometimes you are using your brain. I was doing a creative job and now that I am, you know, a stay-at-home mom, it's a lot less creative and a lot more like cleaning, housework, finding something to entertain the child, feeding him, you know, those type of things. Not as much uh, creative work, but a lot more just physical labor with like maybe a little bit of creativity put in there. So now that, you know, I have room for this and I literally have a room for this in my mind and also physically, I feel like I'm just at this point where it's like all coming together. Another thing is, yeah, I, I couldn't figure out what my niche was. So I like sat down and was like, okay, I know that I like to produce like these longer chattier sort of videos. And I also like to produce like more informational videos. So I've decided to like separate those two types of content. And yeah, I guess this is where I introduce you guys to the podcast. 
Um, I will be linking it down below. It's gonna have its own YouTube channel. And it's also gonna have its own Instagram. And yeah, I highly recommend you check it out. Um, the first episode as well as the introduction episode should be out by the time this video is posted. And I highly recommend you guys listen to it because that is gonna be where I post my more lengthier, chattier videos. And the goal is to create those podcasts so that way you can listen to them while you're cleaning, doing chores, you know, walking, working out, whatever, you, whatever you're doing that, uh, you know, allows you to put like headphones in your ear. And it's also going to be videos as well. Cause I know that some people like to listen to podcasts through the YouTube app. And then some people like to have like a dedicated podcast app. So it's going to appeal to everyone that is going to be into that channel. So I highly recommend you guys listen. I know that I have been posting some of these like lengthier, chattier videos on this channel, but it's just going to make it so much easier for me to like separate those two types of content uh, categories. So this video is going to be more like informational videos and then that, sorry, this channel is going to be more informational videos and then that channel or that um, platform, the plot podcast platform is going to be the lengthier stuff. Yeah, so I had a child and Alhamdulillah he is over a year and a half old by the time I'm filming this. Motherhood has like really changed me. I feel like I, there's just something about, you know, the whole uh, traumatic experience of like giving birth and all the stuff that comes up after that and even like pregnancy that like it like really like wakes you up like you really start to look at the world a whole different way you know all those like fluctuation fluctuations in hormones and everything you just you just your brain is just a completely different thing afterwards like you're you're never gonna be the same so i felt like i had to just like sit on that and like figure myself out like how, what kind of mother i was gonna be and i did a lot of like reflection in that category and if you are interested in like hearing more about motherhood and like the longer um discussions about it definitely check out my podcast because i will be inshallah releasing probably several episodes on like different aspects of that again check out my podcast i would really like it if you could hop over there leave a review and subscribe follow it would be really nice what else okay so i have released a product line a jewelry line and it is muska jahan jewelry and at the moment by the time this video is posted i will have some products in that shop head chains it's gonna be like the chains that go across on top and you can wear if you're a hijabi or if you're not a hijabi i find that these head chains are so perfect to wear when you're going to like weddings or evening events so beautiful and i also have a line of hijab pins which use the same charm as the head chains but it is like a chain that drapes across the front and it has two pins so you can like pin it to uh, the top of your hijab style and it just it is so nice because it actually helps to secure your hijab style i've actually used it while like holding around my toddler when i've attended weddings and it stays in place it helps with your hijab style and it makes it look prettier so highly recommend you check out that shop it will be linked down below all right so i think that we've addressed most of the topics that i just wanted to put out there regarding like why i was absent for quite a while um i do think that alhamdulillah like i feel like i'm in such a healthier emotional state and i feel like i'm being really realistic with like what i'm able to do i used to put so much energy and time into like planning every single thing and i would stress myself out and i would just be so preoccupied like even while filming with like how it was going to be perceived but i just feel like i've reached like a whole other level of calm and also just like caring a little bit less about what people think or say so yeah it's a great it's a great feeling because i remember like when i was filming like sometimes i would just start to like stutter over my words um of course you probably didn't see that because i would cut it out i feel like i've just kind of reached that level of just like not caring and um, just being really excited to create content that i know is going to you know have an impact and 
I love being connected with my sisters. You know, like I love being connected with you guys. I love some of you guys say like the most profound things where if I'm talking about a certain topic or yeah, if, if I'm discussing a certain topic, you will leave like the most profound comments. And I'm like, oh, that's a really great way of looking at it. Or that is a really nice informational tip, you know? I feel pretty good. Hopefully you guys are doing just as well. I think the uh, worldwide phenomenon that um, happened uh, in 2020 really changed us all. The world is a completely different place. Thank you guys so much for catching up with me. I actually am very interested to know how you guys are doing. Please leave some comments down below. And for those of you who are new faces, if you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you could. We're gonna go ahead and end this video. Otherwise I will talk forever and never get anything else done. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you coming back and I will see you guys next time. Assalamu alaikum.